so I'm going to attempt to break 48 of the toughest Minecraft world records in under 48 hours, starting with the world's fastest death. Oh my god. Oh, I was so close. Oh my god, this scene looks perfect. The timer starts once I begin moving. Stay calm. Yes! Come on! 1.65 seconds. That is the first out of 48 world records broken. Next up is the lowest possible height survived. The record to beat is negative 127. And I'm going to do that by breaking the laws of Minecraft. You see, by pushing a shulker off of bedrock, they get suspended inside the void at Y minus 127, making it the lowest possible number you can reach without dying. Or so people think. See, I have a theory that by throwing an ender pearl just after passing the shulkers, I might be able to reach an even lower number. All I have to do is nail the pearl throw. Yes, I think that might have been the world record. I just need to check. It just has to be below minus 127. Please. It's 134. 46 hours remaining. Come on. I'm currently attempting to break the record for the world's largest gold block, as well as the fastest time to place 60,000 blocks by hand. Meaning, I need to build this entire thing in less than four hours. I want to die. All right. 45 minutes later, and we've placed 10,000 blocks and have the floor done. But we still have four more sides to do and the roof. All right. Just the roof to go. We are now on the last few blocks of this record, which means that is both the world's largest gold block done and the fastest time to place 60,000 blocks by hand completed. Four records now done. Next up, however, is a record that is by far the most infuriating record I've ever attempted. The fastest time to find and kill a pink sheep. You see, a pink sheep only has a 0.164% chance of spawning naturally. That means I can load into over a million Minecraft seeds and only see a handful. And to make things even worse, to beat the current record, I need to find one in less than 6.8 seconds. So as you'd probably predict, this record was not going very well. It's now been an hour of me just searching through seeds and I've seen nothing. And even when my luck finally changed, oh, my first pink sheep, but it's so far away. In past videos, I've been lucky enough to break this and all the other records in this video. However, since then, all these records have either been beaten or accused of being faked. So I want to not only reclaim all these records again, but also prove all the comments wrong. Therefore, the last thing I'm going to do is give up. I give up. My luck just isn't there at the moment. I'm going to try it again later and hopefully my luck changes. Thankfully for this next record, I don't need any luck as I'm attempting to grow the world's largest sniffer. Right now, it's still a lot smaller than me, but by feeding it a torch flower. Oh yeah, this is going to get mental. Um, yeah, this might have got slightly out of hand. This is literally meant to be like one single pixel. However, we now officially hold the world record for the world's largest sniffer. The current world record for the world's longest trident kill is 201 blocks. However, by perfecting my throw... Come on, one of these has got to be it, please. Let's go! That is the world's first ever 202 block trident kill. Next up, I'm attempting two records. The most diamonds mined and the most diamonds mined by one netherite pick. Both have a record to beat of 344,678 diamonds. And this is a record that previously took me over 12 hours to complete. But time is ticking and I don't have 12 hours to spare. However, I might have found a way to bend the rules and complete this in just a couple of hours. See, the rules state you cannot use any mods and you must be actively mining each block using the pickaxe, but they don't state that you can't use commands. So what I've done is made the most cracked pickaxe known to man. Oh my word, yeah, this is going to be absolutely mental. In just 20 minutes, I have already mined over 100,000 blocks. The speed is absolutely outrageous. Okay, we are now only 2,000 away. Come on. And let's go. That is two new world records. I'm going to keep going just a little bit longer. And the final score is 357,769 diamonds mined. For this next record, I'm going to become the fastest Steve to ever live. And that's because I'm attempting to travel over a thousand blocks in less than 45 seconds. Sounds impossible, right? Well, I've got a world with a thousand blocks of soul sand underwater and I have depth strider boots with every single speed effect applied. So, oh, look at that number. It's literally blurry. Yeah, this, this is broken. This is actually broken. 200 blocks, 100 blocks. 
That's a new world record. Piece of cake. After just 10 hours, I had broken nine insanely difficult records. However, as I went to sleep that night, only one thing was on my mind. All right, it's early morning and time for me to attempt some of Minecraft's hardest speedruns. Starting with the fastest time to punch a baby turtle. The time to beat is seven seconds. And this requires me to spawn within a 10 block radius of one of the rarest baby mobs in Minecraft. Therefore, this should have taken me hours. But after just a few tries, this happened. Oh my God. Yes! Yes! With a time of just 1.2 seconds. Next up, we're attempting two records at once as we're looking to break both the Buried Treasure speedrun and the Heart of the Sea speedrun. The time to beat for each of these records is 21 seconds. So the first thing I need to do is spawn on a beach, line myself up at the coordinates 99 and dig down and pray for a chest. But prayers weren't needed this morning as my luck continued. Oh! <gasps> Oh, the luck. Oh, my God, the luck I needed for that. And after breaking this record, I started speedrunning, breaking speedruns. This record's for the fastest time to punch a wooden mansion, with the time to beat of 38 seconds. No way. Already? This is one of the rarest structures in the game. 100% a new world record if I can get it there in time. There we go. Fastest time to reach a woodland mansion. Done. Next up, we need to find a diamond in less than 23 seconds. Ooh, this spawn could work, actually. If I can find one of those mine shafts with a chest. Yes, yes, I see a chest. Come on, please. Yes. Oh, my days. What is going on right now? These next two records are for the fastest time to punch a panda and the fastest time to burn one alive. I have 30 seconds to punch the panda and just one minute to burn it alive. Here we go. We have a panda super close. Nice. Okay, that's the fastest time to punch a panda done. Now, come with me, pal. We have a lava pool in this world. It is perfect, but I need you to fall into it. Yes! Yes! Fastest time to burn a panda completed. This next speed run is a bit of an odd one, as I'm attempting the fastest time to obtain any item with a time to beat of 0.63 seconds. There really isn't any strategy to beat this. I've just got to hope I spawn on a piece of grass. Oh, okay. This could be it. Come on. Yes, yes, by just 0.5 of a second, that is a new world record. In this world, I have a never-ending pile of bees, and I'm attempting to break the records for the most bees killed and the most XP gained from just bees. So this could take me a couple of hours, but I'm gonna just sit here swinging my axe until we reclaim both of these records. We are now on par with the current world record. So, just like this, that is two more world records complete. In front of me are hundreds of pigs all crammed inside one block, and I'm going to turn them into a literal cannon as we attempt to break the furthest pig cannon shot with a record of 165 blocks to beat. There isn't really much of a strategy to this, so I'm just going to break this block and let chaos ensue. Oh, they've gone a weird direction. They're still, they're still falling. They're still going. <laughs> still going. That's the last one. It has traveled over six 100 blocks. Congratulations, pig pal. You've broken a record. And from firing pigs out of a cannon to one of the hardest skill-based records, I'm attempting the furthest distance traveled across lava. To beat this, I need to place several boats down at the perfect time for over 70 blocks. It's not going to be particularly easy, this, but... All right, it's boat, boat. Never mind. Here we go. Oh, nah, that was a lot better, though. Come on, this is good so far. 70 blocks to beat. Come on. Yep. 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 Oh, that might be it. That might be it. I'm going to check the replay. 70 blocks to beat, so it just has to be over that line. Yes! I've beaten the record by one singular block. What you're currently looking at is what's going to be the world's tallest house. I previously beat this record under the assumption that it was completely unbeatable. However, I'm utilizing the shulker truck I found earlier to make a pillar all the way down from minus 127 up to 319 blocks. Bed, chest, furnace, crafting table, and we'll put the fire there. All I got to do now is build it up to sky limit. And just like that, we now officially have the world's tallest Minecraft house. Next up is the fastest time to find a music disc with a time to beat of just 52 seconds. I'm going to attempt this by looking for a mob spawner with a chest. However, to find one of these in less than 52 seconds, I need the perfect world. And that's exactly what I got. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Please have a music disc. 
Yes! 17 seconds! That luck is absolutely outrageous. That's 23 records now broken. Come on. I'm currently attempting to build Minecraft's biggest farm in one hour. I've built this massive world ready to be filled with wheat. And to beat this record, I need to plant over 10,000. Around 30 minutes have now passed and we've planted just over 5,000 wheat, which means I am neck and neck with the current world record. Three, two, one, stop. I have somehow managed to plant 11,812 wheat in one hour. Next up, we're attempting the fastest time to punch a mushroom with a time to beat of just four seconds. Now, they only have about 0.09% chance of spawning. So this leaves me with no option but to just sit here and... I have probably loaded into nearly 3,000 seeds at this point, and I haven't seen a single mushroom biome, nor have I seen a pink sheep, which is a record I still need to attempt again. This record was really starting to eat away at my time, but regardless of how difficult this was proving to be, I knew I could not give up. And finally, after hours of searching through seeds, that persistence paid off. Oh, here we go. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Less than a 1% chance of that happening. But for the time of 1.82 seconds, that is a new world record. Next up, I have 10,000 dripstone in front of me. And I'm going to attempt to break two records by dropping every single one with this one lever. Please, just work. Yes, that is now the most dripstone dropped with one lever. And that is also 10,000 dripstone dropped at once. It is getting very late. However, for the next few hours, I'm attempting the furthest distance ridden on a pig. I've built the fastest possible railway that utilizes Minecraft physics to help me travel 10 times faster than I did before. We have 49 kilometers to beat, Mr. Pig. Do your thing. There is a slight chance I fell asleep, but we have now traveled 15 kilometers on this pig. We've got a long way to go yet, though. I'm so tired. How far have we gone? All right, 45 kilometers. Five more to go. Come on. All right, this should now be it, please. Yes, 50.4 kilometers. That is the furthest distance on a pig completed. Even though I was super tired at this point, I had now broken 28 records. So with just 24 hours remaining, I would not rest until I'd broken every last record. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. I'm very tired. However, I cannot let these comments defeat me, so I need to beat these 19 remaining records as fast as possible. Such as this one, which is for the furthest distance travelled in one day with a number to beat of 22.3 kilometres. Ooh, this spawn is perfect. Right, let's build a boat and get to Rowan as that's by far the fastest way I can travel. Just under 20 minutes left to travel 22 kilometres. It takes around 20 minutes for a Minecraft day to pass, and it's currently night time. So I've got maximum 10 minutes left of this challenge. Okay, okay, the sun is starting to come up. So any second now, that is going to say day one, and my time is up. There. Here we go. 30 kilometers. Come on! I have smashed the old world record. Next up, I'm attempting the fastest time to receive the achievement, the parrots and the bats. The time to beat is 13.5 seconds. This spawn is perfect. And I see some chickens. Come on. Okay, this is going to be very tight. Please. Yes! Literally by a whisker, I have beaten that world record. And from breeding chickens to brutally murdering them, I'm attempting the most chicken shot in midair. My record to beat is 40. And I'm confident that with this crossbow... And 48. That is 31 records broken and 15 hours left. The current best for the world's tallest staircase, which I set, is 72 blocks in 60 seconds. This means to beat it, I need to place over 1.2 stairs per second. I'm off to a pretty bad start here, I'm going to be honest. And yeah, I got, what's that? 59 in 60 seconds. Come on, I don't have time for this. And go. This is feeling a lot better. I'm yet to make a mistake. Provided I can keep this pace up, we could be pretty close. Oh, okay. It was this one here. What is that? 18. Have I just broken the record already? 60 plus 18. 78. I've just broken the record on my second attempt. Am I just a professional? Well, with only eight hours remaining, we were going to find out. Especially since these next two records are going to take a lot of time. As I'm attempting the most mobs on one block and the most mobs spawned with one command block. That's what we want. Repeat. Here we go. 
It doesn't look like it, but if you look at the top left of my screen, the entity number is flying. This is going to be how my PC is going to die. It's literally one entity a second at the moment. So I've got about another, what, 10 minutes to wait? And... That's 2,001 frogs on one block, and every single one was spawned with this one command block. And whilst on the topic of records taking a long time, these next two are for the longest time on a strider and the furthest distance travelled on one. And to beat these, I need to travel over 69 kilometres and spend at least two and a half hours moving round. I'm trying to move at a sort of like a diagonal angle to try and cover as much ground as possible. And so far it's working as we've travelled over... 22 kilometers in just over an hour and we're not stopping yet all right we have now done 70.04 kilometers purely on a strider and we've spent over three hours on this strider meaning we now only have 12 records left to go unfortunately however this next record previously took me three days to beat and i currently only have eight hours remaining of this video the record is for the fastest time to fill your inventory with a time to beat of 13.85 seconds i've spent an hour so far attempting this and my best time was around 15 seconds so somehow i need to shave off over a second of my time no, 14 seconds. That felt so good, but I must have messed up somewhere. Oh my God, 13.9 seconds. I am literally 0 0.8 milliseconds away from my record. It had been 11 months since I last attempted this record, so I knew it was going to be difficult. However, due to my time constraints, I was convinced that despite how close I was getting, I didn't have what it would take to beat this record. <sighs> yeah, I really don't know if I could do this in time, but... Just as I was on the verge of giving up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is really good so far. Yes! 13.78 seconds! Let's go! That is giving me the motivation I needed. Come on! 11 records to go and 6 hours to complete them. Next up, I need to land over 26 water bucket clutches in 60 seconds. The only chance I have of completing this record is not dying. Here we go. Oh, I'm warmed up now. We are keeping it super clean at the moment. Just got to hold on for another 30 seconds. Come on. Yes, that's 27. I'm not going to get 28, but that is a brand new world record with 27 water bucket clutches completed. I'm currently attempting both the records for the most sniffers bred and the most sniffers in one world. The goal here is to reach around 2,000 sniffers as that will break both records. Unfortunately, however, this is a very slow process. I didn't know I could hate the sound of sniffers until now, but it's happened. However, we are now at 1,000 sniffers bred and around 3,000 in this world. And just like that, we have now bred 2,275 sniffers. And we have over 6,000 sniffers in this one world. And whilst on the topic of high numbers, we are attempting the record for the most creepers scared by one cat. All right, we now have roughly around 1,000 creepers beneath me. And with this one command, we should now break this world record. Yes, look at them go. That is now over 1,000 creepers scared by one cat. Come on. Next up is the fastest time to complete a triple Neo. The triple Neo on its own is one of the hardest jumps to perform in Minecraft. And I not only need to successfully complete one first time, but also build the entire platform for it. And with a time of one minute, two seconds, I was expecting this to be impossible. However, wow, this spawn is perfect. I'm going to mine down this tree and then build the platform. I cannot waste a second here. Here we go. Do it less than a minute here. Oh, oh, 50 seconds. That is unbelievable. In this world, there is over 6,000 sheep, and I'm attempting to turn every single one blue. I'm hoping this isn't going to take me too long, but I guess we'll find out. Try my best to do this as fast as possible, but it's quite hard. My time to complete this video is starting to run low, and I've still got to find a pink version of one of these guys. Is that it? Yes, that is over 6,000 sheep turned blue. For this next record, I need some of that good luck I had earlier to return, as I'm attempting the fastest time to find a diamond and emerald. I have 31 seconds to beat, meaning I need to find the perfect loot chest within 50 blocks of my spawn. And after just a few attempts... Yo, this could be it, provided it has the loot I need. Come on, block, please hurry up. Yes! 
Yes, 19 seconds. I have beaten the previous world record by over 10 seconds. This record's for the most cakes crafted in five minutes with a record to beat of 58. Time to start in three, two, one. Every single second counts for this record. My fingers have got to click at rapid speeds. All right, I don't know how, but we are not even one minute in and we are halfway to beating this record. I'm absolutely cooking right now. 40 cakes done, 50 cakes now done and 60 cakes now crafted. So we've beaten the previous record. And that's time. We crafted 128 cakes in five minutes. I now have only two and a half hours remaining of this video. And this next record is going to take one hour of that time. As we're attempting the most blocks mined in one hour. With a number to beat of 42,058 blocks. Time starts in three, two, one. Go. Now I don't have time to mess up with this record. I have to complete this first time or I am screwed. All right, 10 minutes in and we've mined nearly 7,000 blocks. We are on track to beat this, but I cannot afford to lose any concentration here. Eight minutes to go. Come on, we are neck and neck with the current world record. Please, please. Yes, that is the current world record now beaten in my last few seconds. So by the skin of my teeth, I have managed to mine 42,228 blocks in one hour. Come on. This therefore left me with just over an hour to find and kill a pink sheep. And if I did so, I would also complete the final record by being the first person in history to break 48 Minecraft records in 48 hours. 6.8 seconds is the time to beat. And unsurprisingly, this went just as well as last time. What do I have to do to have a pink sheep spawn close to me game? A pink sheep's all I want in life right now, please. No matter how many seeds I loaded into, I was not getting the luck I needed. And slowly but surely, I was running out of time. There is now only seven minutes remaining of this challenge. I think it might be impossible to beat now. The chance of a pink sheep popping up is literally 0.1%. But despite this, for my last few remaining minutes, I just kept searching seeds in hopes of the impossible becoming possible. And that's exactly what happened. Oh my god. Yes! 48 records in 48 hours. I cannot believe I've actually done that. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. This video was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Thank you.